channel it's everyday everyday mcg guys and yeah we all know everywhere the covid is still the topic covid is still everywhere and it's even worse in some other countries for example in covid uh in in india and yeah so far here in singapore we actually uh, became uh, one of the few cases in the whole wide world but now it's again uh, increasing every day because as uh, we all knew that uh, everybody had uh, most of the population had the injection uh, we are all immunized as a healthcare workers we were the first uh, person to have this immunization so um, and the community also are aware so they also uh, had the injections and some though they are still in uh, doubt whether they want to have the injection or not but hopefully in the uh, long run everybody will be vaccinated here in Singapore guys um, the populations they are targeting so far they are targeting by August of uh, this year before the national day Hopefully, we can have our 75% of the population will have the COVID vaccine. And where if, let's say, all the uh, medications will come on time. And so far, guys, um, the side effects of the so-called vaccines are not as bad compared to those that is just a lot of, um, of fake news regards when it uh, regards to side effects of the medications and hopefully to you at home that is watching this video hopefully uh, to those that haven't had their injection hopefully you can have your final decision and of course if you don't have yet don't uh, decide not decided i mean to have the vaccine just go and research the benefit and if you have a doubt please do not search any uh, those that is just a um, youtuber that they want to talk about uh, negativity about the vaccines guys just please go to go and read all the articles about the medications about those people that had injection like me that uh, we all knew what are the side effects of the the vaccines okay guys so as I've mentioned earlier in uh, Singapore's part of uh, the uh, initiatives one thing uh, as a care, um, healthcare professionals we are monitored uh, how do you call that we are monitored closely and uh, in fact we have our swabs twice in uh, once in a two weeks so that means in a one month we have our um, swabs we are tested twice in a one month and yeah to just to make sure that we are not hazard to our patients and as well as to our family because we are very high risk to have this um this covid viruses guys and also of course to avoid and to uh, get uh, lesser complications to all the healthcare workers and this is a very very smart initiative that is uh, waiting again and i'm feeling Sata is changing everything. Okay, okay. I got you ahead. Okay, let me see what we did over there. Okay, you can see what we did very, very well. Okay, now let's try it. Okay, As part of uh, Singapore's initiative to fight against or to eradicate against COVID virus, guys. So uh, they are having this, uh, they are launching a test kit to which is accessible to all the community to just make sure that even if uh, you are just in your house, everything is accessible to test whether you have a uh, virus, in, uh, virus COVID. For this antigen rapid uh, test kit, we have uh, they have uh, put inside, of course, the pamphlet, the instruction pamphlets that they have on how you do it at home, and they also they have inside they have this uh, sterile uh, foam tip applicator, the swab applicator, 
and uh, this is the strips for the COVID uh, strips test and the last one is the solution these are all uh, the the contained inside your pocket test so these are all well uh, sealed and they are not tempered so when it's tempered please you do not use it because it can cost a, a negative test or um, it's not accurate anymore so these are the uh, things that is consist inside this uh, test quick view of at home OTC COVID-19 tests or antigen rapid test ART before doing the procedure always remember that you are washing your hands so I want to wash my hand by using alcohol so I follow the five uh, seven steps of washing and make the hands dry always remember that uh, you are washing your hands first and of course when you do it to others always remember that you have to wear any surgical mask available at home but for me I have this uh, I have N95 so I'm gonna use my N95 guys and yeah so I'm gonna uh, wear my N95 first oh very short So I've already washed my hands. I'm wearing my gloves. And yeah, let's start doing the swabbing. Okay, so let's start the swab. So I have the test kit with me. And yeah, I have prepared the solution. So we have to open the solution, guys. And make sure that you also put the stand to, not, to make sure that it will not spill. So let's open the solution to prepare. And next is the swab. So here in this kit, we have two swabs. We only use one swab for her to the nose, both nostrils. Okay, and remember, the tip should not be uh, touched in any part. Okay, so slowly goes to the patient. Yeah, and uh, just uh, get the patient uh, comfortable. So just don't do, don't tell, okay, and close your eyes if you're scared. Insertion. Okay, the other side. Okay. We have to do it in both nose, huh? Okay, done. So that's it. We don't do this anywhere. We put the swab into the solution. So you stir it. You stir it in a circular uh, motion for three times. And then you will leave it for 10 minutes. And the 10 minutes starts now. Now it's uh, six. Six or... Uh, 50 in the evening so we're gonna wait until seven o'clock hi i'm um, sorry uh, earlier i mentioned that i have to wait for 10 minutes uh i want to uh, say that it's uh, a little bit uh, there there's a big change it's actually one minute to wait so now i'm gonna test the uh, strips already the swab uh, test so uh, it's actually one minute after that the swab uh, only to test wait for one minute and to check for the for the results from these strips is 10 minutes okay so now we're gonna open this and uh, oh, of course you have to be careful and yeah you don't touch anything that is not supposed to be touched and for these strips guys you have uh, two you have three arrows so that means you will you will submerge the solution this into the solution where you soaked your swab kit the swab test okay so th there is it okay so dispose this uh, swab
properly, yeah. not in anywhere because you don't know that this uh, test may be a positive or whatever it is, but still ha uh, very um, dangerous to others. So you submerge this test kit this way down to the solution for 10 minutes. Okay, and let's gonna wait the 10 minutes, guys. Okay, 10 minutes has passed and yeah, and it's about time to do the next steps. Okay, so uh, 10 minutes is over. So we have to remove this from uh, this uh, solution. And we're gonna put it another uh, in a flat surface for another 10 minutes so it should be this way I'll just put here because this part here is uh, uh, very evenly you have to put it evenly and uh, you don't uh, touch it to anywhere surface because you know that maybe this is contaminated with whatever bacteria is inside so we just make sure that it's uh, very safe to others and safe to everybody surrounding us. So now again, we have to wait for another 10 minutes to finalize the results of the uh, test of the COVID uh, swab that we just did earlier. And yeah, they say that for this instruction, guys, uh, they said that we have to leave uh, this uh, swab for the uh, uh, test strips for about 10 minutes in a very flat surface and we ensure that the strips is in a flat surface and in a good lighting so so far we have a lights here we just make we have to wait for another uh 10 minutes and after that uh we see the results and by the way if the results will come up all the lines will come up within uh five minutes or less or less than 10 minutes guys that means it shows that your test is inaccurate Meaning is that you have to repeat it again, which is hmm, definitely we don't want this to happen. So you have to make sure that you did it correctly. And of course, accurately because this is for your sake. Yeah, hi. And uh, now uh, uh, 10 minutes has passed and it's about time to know the real reality check. And the test is... negative thankfully thanks 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 yeah and yeah by the way uh, i would like to uh, still um, open up the mind of those people that is haven't uh, get their vaccine yet please if you want to know the uh, side effects of the vaccine injection guys please go and visit the re reputable uh, websites that is uh, in your uh, in your um, websites in your uh, own country of course you have the DOH that uh, your Department of Health uh, my, um, like for us here we call it MOH is the Ministry of Health the reputable websites are there you can read all the side if, uh, all of the things that is needed to know about the medication guys and please do not listen to those that is uh, uh, spreading a full full uh, false um, uh, information about the vaccines about COVID guys and please visit to the World Health Organization if you want to know the real facts and the real um, how to call that the real uh, uh, information about the COVID vaccines guys and please hopefully everybody is vaccinated and if you're still not uh, decided yet Please go and pray and please think properly guys that we want to save the world we want to finish this uh, pandemic guys and yes that's about it and thank you for uh, watching this video and stay safe and stay um, uh, uh, how to call that uh, stay calm and enjoy the day and of course enjoy pos uh, stay positive guys and that's all for today everyday MCG and thank you for watching this video and please watch my next video guys and thank you stay safe beautiful people good night